Hey and welcome back to the channel. On this video I'm going to be riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cru uh, Cruiser as you see it right there. And I want to talk about something on this bike and it's right here. It's the battery. But not just the battery, we're going to talk about the motor as well because uh, uh, on this video I want to talk about riding in the heat and let's hop on and talk about it and the reason why I want to talk about riding in excessive heat we're going to call this because it is currently sitting at 93 degrees and we are under a excessive heat warning for the area here quite a bit of Oregon is under that heat uh, excessive heat warning and so I wanted to do a video talking a little bit about riding your e-bike in excessive heat so Uh, what I wanted to talk about is, is it good for your bike? And no, it probably isn't good for the bike, especially like I was mentioning the battery and the motor, because let's face it, they get hot. They get hot as it is without needing the uh, heat outside to make it worse. But then on the other hand, most people only want to ride their bike in the summer and a lot of places let's face it with global warming now i mean gee it seems like almost every summer day gets up there in the 90 degree or more range so the best temperature from what i can gather to ride your e-bike that's the best for the battery is between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But like I uh, said, how often do we get days that fall in that area? Yeah. Like right now, we're under this successive heat warning and this is gonna go on for several days where we're gonna be over 90 and sometimes over 100, 105, 107. So when you get riding the bike, the battery gets more hot. When you're riding the bike, the motor gets more hot, right? The more you use the, bike, the motor and battery, then the hotter it's going to get. And I think the battery too, being on this bike inside the frame integrated right into here, that's probably even worse because that's going to this is going to heat up here down here and being out in the sun and then that's going to make it hotter for inside where the battery is sitting so uh, not only do you get the temperature air temperature being 90 plus degrees like right now it's 93 or um, and then the battery uh, heating up with the sun directly beating down on this so, but then what do you do? I mean, if we take away all the times we can't ride our e-bike, there's not much left. So maybe we got to come up with a way to keep our battery and motor on the bike more cooler. So if we do want to ride, or maybe in some cases, some folks have no choice but have to ride to get from point A to point B, and uh, they have no other choice. So and let's face it too that in a lot of areas that's all you get is heat in the summer like in arizona a 90 degree day there is probably a cool day right the uh, other thing that the hot weather excessive heat will do is drain your battery faster too just like in the cold weather you're going to get less distance it's 
going to lose its charge faster and then the motor um, is also going to get hot too and can overheat and shut off on you. So I, I, I suppose the best thing to do is try to not ride it in excessive heat, your bike. And we can't pick and choose riding in the shade because let's face it, a lot of the bike lanes out there are right in the wide open sunshine and there's no shade. Or just on the road like I am right now, there's no shade right here. If you have a suggestion on what we can do or any ideas on this topic, let us know in the comments below. I mean, I don't know a whole lot on this, but it just gets you thinking when it happens, right? When you get hot weather, then you start to think about these things and you get cold weather and you start to think about, well, How's this going to affect my e-bike? Uh, e and when it's raining, how's that going to affect my e-bike? Right now, the bike is flying along here at 20 miles an hour right there. Not affected by the heat, but I haven't been out here very long, so it shouldn't be affected yet by the heat. There is a nice breeze, which is certainly going to help to fan it some. Yeah, maybe this is something that the manufacturers down the line can um, do something on, is uh, keeping our battery and motor cooler so we can ride without worry but then you also got to remember that you too yourself have to be careful out in the excessive heat just like the battery and motor i mean we we can have issues too get becoming dehydrated heat stroke and all the rest you don't want to get into that if it gets too warm like was it last year or two years ago we had the extreme heat here and one day we had the 116 degree uh, temperature and that I gotta tell you is the hottest I have ever been Uh, in my lifetime, that's the hottest the temperature's ever been for a daytime high. That wasn't no humid X reading, that was straight temperature, 116 degrees. That was crazy. And uh, hopefully, this global warming slows because we don't want to get into uh, becoming too hot too fast, or actually, we don't want to become too hot at all. Well, I just wanted to get out here and talk a little bit about heat because of the 93 degree temperature right now. And we're going into a stretch of some 100 degrees for a few days here, at least three or four days, they're saying. So I thought, let's talk a little bit about it. And what can we do about it? I would recommend if you're storing your bike anywhere where there's no way to get around the heat, like say in your garage or something and it's warm it's not you know it's still going to be warm in there then too warm then i would suggest taking the battery inside um, so you can keep it more a uh, uh, room temperature and yes i keep my bikes inside and if i can't take the bike inside then i would certainly take the battery i would highly recommend that inside uh, 
all right well that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe to the channel and support us thank you very much for doing that just hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified and once again if you want to leave a comment uh, maybe you've got some suggestions or can uh, fill us in on just how heat affects your bike and specifically your bike battery and motor uh, that would be appreciated if you would share that with us once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road see you later